Welcome back, everybody. Big news today. Uh, Samsung finally released the whole map version 17.0.0.28, which finally supports One Year 8 and above. I mean, and above? I mean, there is nothing above. But hey, One Year 8 is Android 15. So what do we have? We already tested the updated home app version for One Year 7, and it was really great. Alignment guidelines, guides for aligning items, app launch animation settings. For the first time in home app, Samsung allows us to change the app launch animation. So animations for overlapping items, items group editing, easy editing with grouping and ungrouping, item edit lock, sticker, floating, toolbar, joystick feature for easy home editing. Now, fan fact guys, when you update this via here, actually it's not going to get updated to the latest version. So a lot of respect goes to this guy here, at the XDA trade Kakashi Hatake and the credits for getting us the APK goes to this guy at X, YasKing12767. So I've manually downloaded the home APK from here and now for the first time, in one year I ate, Android 16, rolling drum, dig dig dig. All right, guys, home up. This is it. It really works. Here we go. Previously, when you started this, you're just gonna get a message, hey, you know, unsupported OS. So decorate your home screen with various stickers. Feel free to move and decorate items on your home screen. I guess this is the um, do-it-yourself layout. And apply the home up features right from your home screen. Another level of integration. Of course I'm gonna try it. So now what we have guys here is we're gonna go to about Absolutely, this is the version 170028. All these wonderful people working to get home up, guys, you are like real legends. So, what happens, guys, when we enable this? We see first we have the standard layout, the one we know from before. We have the home screen uh, from where we can fine tune a lot of the things on the home screen, also including the do it yourself home screen the home screen grid and all this other nice fancy stuff. We have to backup and restore where you can save your layout and then also restore it if that's your thing. And then we have guys, the task changer. The task changer is very important because you can get things like, okay, vertical slim list and yes, it works. This is so cool to get this thing guys uh, in a One UI 8 in Android 16. And you know, one of my personal favorite guys, the mini mode. The mini mode is so nice because yeah, why not? I mean, it's a mini mode. It's, I think it's very cute. Also, you can center the currently running app. I'll play a lot of these things, guys. I'm not gonna do like a full review, maybe not now. I just want to see the new features here. Gesture setting, guys. All animation tuning for gesture motion only work with swipe from sides and bottom gesture settings. Blur animation tuning only works on models that support real-time blur, which means that if you have, let's say, a series, most probably you're not gonna get like a real blur effect due to, I guess, SLC constraint or Samsung gatekeeping gesture emotion home gesture emotion tuning you can customize the home gesture animation home gesture vibration is turned off for gesture emotion all right let's see oh wow okay guys this is already what we know so let's go for <laughs> if we go for a sweet one you're gonna see like this is you know like yeah but you see right now with the uh, what we already knew from the home up we are not able to get the app launching animation and now with this version i think we will be there i'm gonna go and choose the classic one all right classic one by the way is not the standard but i do love it because it's really really fast also guys the elegance the elegance is the one that most resembles um ios i guess Mm, and also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but you can also manually tune this, like be more emotional or be very fast. And if you're gonna go really crazy, guys, there is this advanced tuning. I did so many videos on that one. I'm not gonna go again into more details. What I wanna see in this video are the new things, app open animation tuning, where you can customize the app open animation. So I'm going to sell, oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the heck is this? Simple tuning. All right, very slow, slow, moderate, fast, very fast. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to disable the home gesture animation tuning because I just wanna test the app open animation tuning for the first time in Samsung. And let's just see what I can do with this. So right now, guys, I'm using the moderate one. I'm gonna go, oh yeah, you can, Jesus, this looks, it's a bit weird, guys, maybe, you know? I don't really like this. Not that it's bad, but I 
probably prefer it to be like with um, the home gesture animation tuning, maybe something like this, at least to kind of maintain consistency. All right, I'm gonna go now very fast. Simple tuning, what speed do you want? Okay, and then we have also advanced tuning for this. Jesus Christ, Samsung really killing it. Let's now try to check the very fast one. Jesus, guy, <laughs> this is almost immediate. This is absolutely insane. I'm not sure who is gonna use this one. This is absolutely budget crazy. It's very fast, you know, let's go and let's do the very slow one. Oh my God, all right, yeah. You can see now, okay, I can feel on like this is, so greasy guys it's so very smooth if you like you know like this kind of animation yeah you know and i have a feeling it's absolutely linear but this time i mean yeah i can see absolutely crazy but honestly yep it's a bit too slow for my taste so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna go and probably just use let's say use the fast one yeah the fast one is good oh my god no more slow animation so you can see Samsung absolutely killing it guys. This is now in real time what I can do with this and um, Yeah, what happens if I open it from a folder? Yeah, it's still quite nice. I can say Yeah This is so good guys. It's finally good to know that Samsung are thinking for us now I'm gonna go and probably do the slow one uh, Slow one is just too slow for me. No, that's not gonna work. So probably gonna do and do like like fast a bit yeah, all right, why not? I mean, you see guys, there are plenty of options and remember, uh, I'm gonna do, just show this one more time. If you go for the very fast one, it's gonna be bad shit fast. I mean, you want quick animation? Yes, one year eight with home up, they got you covered. I mean, I don't think that it can go better than this. And again, I really hope that consistency wise, this is going to still perform good. What do I mean by consistency? Like doing this 100 times and just succeeding like probably at least like 90 times and don't have any slugs and stutters so far all has been really great uh let's just check advanced tuning duration the interpolator i mean this thing can really really go crazy so you have to plan a lot of time for you to do this if you want but hey there are allowing this option blur animation tuning you can now customize the blur animation in home gesture animation and app open animation also a new feature all right so, please note that the blur effect may increase memory usage and power consumption, potentially causing overheating or performance issues, such as stuttering. We don't care. We want more blur. All right. Let's go and adjust the wallpaper blur. Okay, that's the leg regular. That's the thick one. Oh, my God. I see what happens here. And, you know, like, the best way, I'm just thinking, the best way for us to test this, guys, right now is to go and do a very slow animation so that we can see what happens with the blur. Oh my god, you can see now the wallpaper really, really beautifully blurred, okay? Yeah! <laughs> okay, now, what about the other settings? Let's just go and do... Okay, I'm gonna go back to fast. No, you know what? Let's just go and disable this so I have, like, the standard opening speed and we now only test the blur. So, I'm gonna go here and choose blur animation tuning and this is thick oh my god i like it like thin regular thick okay let's go for thin yeah for thin you see not a lot of blur but hey the best way for us to test this is to enable the app opening animation and just see what happens yeah i mean like it's barely blurred you see what happens here when i try to open it but when i go and i choose the thick one I think it's absolutely and batshit crazy. You can see what I don't like at first glance is the fact that the blur is applied like just too fast. But hey, that's home up and you can potentially tweak this. I'm 100% sure that it's going to be an option. So now let's see. Icon blur. Oh my God, we have also icon blur. Uh, finally, now everything gets blurred, guys. You see, I open it. Boom. Yep. Icon blur. So we have not only wallpaper blur, we have icon blur and we have the option to change the app's opening animation speed just as alone i do believe is a wonderful wonderful upgrade icon blur wallpaper blur and the blur level with a combination of app opening tuning and i'm gonna go and just like choose a fast one yeah <laughs> all right guys you can see now even with the blur and you see not a problem not a stutter this is i do believe like samsung best right like i uh, think like the there is this kind of like on and off jump animation when I try to open it. But again, I guess it's all 
coming down to just the individual tuning. So what else do we have? We have the home gesture vibration. You can turn this off. You can improve gesture sensitivity in pay zone. Guys, there are so, so many new settings. What about the edge panel? Yeah, you can also do that if that's your thing, all right? Show recent apps, remove the recent app if you want. Like, it's really, really very, very powerful, guys. So, good news is home app is running, and the better news is they now allow us to change the app opening animation setting, which is app open animation tuning, and also change the blur animation, not only for the wallpapers, but also for the icons. The blur level on the wallpaper can be thin, regular, and thick. The icon blur is just an on and off setting, and there is no advanced tuning for the blur yet, but I do believe that this will come very, very soon. So, hey guys, this is a wonderful update. Thank you guys, thank you Samsung, thank you everybody watching these videos, and yeah, just go and watch my previous one. Stay safe.